So if you want to know what the rest of these do, um, I'll show you what I'll show you some things that uh, I'll show you one more brush. But basically, I'm gonna, just gonna say if you want to know how to control brushes using this palette, you just need to open up a brush and just mess with it because that's how I taught my like that's how I learned. So I mean, you could follow tutorials and stuff, but really, ultimately, it comes down to you just doing something. So just do it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we go. So this this brush I use it for like stuff on the horizon a lot because it's flat. Things on the horizon are flattened; they look flat. But what I use it for doesn't really matter. I'll just show you what I can do with it. So I've started messing with it recently. Really, the shape is just this. It's just a line. It's just a box. And so let's see. Let's go into shape dynamics. And angle jitter is on direction. Ooh, that looks strange, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. It's kind of fun to play with. Um, really start to start to do some crap with it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, random brushes are really fun, actually. Don't be afraid to mess around with them, because sometimes you'll just be messing around with a random brush, and then you'll start to see something in the randomness, and then you can make something out of it. So it's great. Um, I'm going to go back to brush tip shape, and change the angle of the brush to 90 degrees in another direction. And now you see, ooh, it's this chunky thing with little carrot things cut out of it. I don't know. It's great, though. It's fun. Um, I don't even know what I'm drawing, I'm just like making some stupid crap up. Alright, so that's just another brush that I've been messing with recently, and there's a lot of different things that I could do with it. Uh, dual brush it. Wow, now it's completely different. Um, so yeah, just mess with it. So just to, just to, this is basically just gonna, I've told you enough to get started, more than enough to get started, so basically just have at it. Just to um, wrap up, gone over some shortcut keys, just to remind you, X is toggle colors, Alt, did I tell you about Alt? I probably didn't. Here, let me tell you about Alt really quick. So Alt is really good. When you're in, br when you're in the brush tool and you want to shade between two colors, let's just say, or if you, basically if there's a color on screen that you want to, uh, that you want to save, or that you want, you know, that you don't currently have saved, like this, this weird grayish thing that I just, no, pink, we'll go pink. Um, yeah, so, I want this pink color, how do I get it? Well, I could go up here to the eyedropper tool, click it, and come down here and click it, but I'm way too lazy. So, in the brush tool, just hit Alt, and then, look, a nice little eyedropper comes up, and click. See, laziness is wonderful. Anyway, so, use that for shading, notice how I just made a bunch of gradiented steps here. Anyway. So, huh. anyway, yeah. So, use it for shading and stuff like that. And um, don't forget to mess with your opacity and mess with your settings and just start, just start goofing around. Um, and thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I know I already said goodbye, but I lied. Um, <laughs> so I, I just want to show you one more thing. I just, I just kind of want to show you how I made this picture. This picture that I sh here, I'll just show you the picture real quick. So. I made this picture in about 20 or 30 minutes um, yesterday. Anyway, so I just want to just go over really quick how I made it, because it's basically a brush experiment. That's all it was. So I started, okay, well, I'll just show you the brush that I used, the brushes that I was experimenting with. Um, I've become kind of a brush, uh, kind of a, a brush freak with this specific brush. I really need to get out of it because I'm using it too much. I need to get some more foliage brushes. But this is the brush that I primarily used for the leaves. I just used it in a, used it in a certain way. I got it from s the internet. Yes, I got it from the internet. Fancy that. Um, so yeah, this is the brush. It's just kind of set. It's got, let's see what settings it's got. It's got, I don't know, stuff. Who cares? Who cares what the settings are? I'll look at them later. I haven't really analyzed this brush too much. I just love it, and I just use it. I use it as is. I'm that pleased with it. So, yeah. So this is what I used for the leaves. The other brush that I was experimenting with is one that I just barely got. It's meant to be used on rock, but who says I have to use it on to draw rocks? So I didn't. I tried to use it on something else. Unintentionally, actually. I started drawing a log with it. Here. This is the brush. It's just kind of like this little crickety, little jaggedy thing. And I just started drawing with it. 
first I was thinking, hey, this may be dirt. Then, I, then in the end, I started seeing a log. Made basically this log exclusively with the brush. It's just scribbling back and forth. Scribbling and bibbling and seeing what direction I could take it. And, yeah. So, um, there are, okay, there are four brushes I used to, okay, sorry, five. Five brushes I used to make this. See this soft color here? Now, why don't I just show you the freaking layers? Usually I don't this, use this many layers in a drawing, but I was being irresponsible and lazy the other day. So this is my base painting. I used it out of, I made, I made it out of textures. I just wanted to make some interesting underlying textures, even though you can't really see it at a distance. Just kind of made it. Um, out of some photographs of moss and other things, um, and colors and stuff, and so then I thought, okay, I want to, I want to make it into, like, a foresty type of, oh my heck, I hate the phone, I will be right back, ah. okay, I hate the phones, I just have to say that, anyway, I don't even know if I'll edit that out, I'm being really lazy today, so, okay, so there's, like, four different brushes that I used on this picture, I used this underlying texture to start out, and then I used just a straight-up soft brush to just create some of these colors coming down. I was thinking, ooh, light peeking through trees and stuff. And I used another soft brush on here, or semi-soft actually, just to bring out some of the color. Um, and it's kind of on an overlay. Anyway, so then I just started, um, you can see this leaf brush starts to come into play that I just showed you. So, started using it. Merged layers, which I tend to do often. Oops, sorry. Let's see. And, um, see here, you can see this is an idea that never really flushed out. It just wasn't going anywhere. I wanted to have a little girl and a puppy or something. I can't even remember. So I decided to kill it. Moved on. And then, like I told you, I just started seeing if I could do a log. It started off, I, I wanted to do dirt. I wanted to try and figure out how to do a dirt path. And then I'm like, hey, I see a log. And so I just changed it to a log because I could. Um, and that's all just on one layer with one brush just going back and forth, back and forth with, it, with just this little, this little guy. Um, alright, so, whoa, yeah, okay, um, started optimizing it, brightened it up a bit, realized it was dark as crap, so started brightening it up, and realized it was too bright, so I kind of focused it. Left some areas bright, darkened some others, then I thought, ooh, look! A pillar of light shining in the forest. How nice and tranquil and all that. Um, wait, at what point did I add those little dots? Well, you see these little dots? They're just a little dot brush. So, just a scattery dot brush. Click, 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 click. Probably only five or six clicks to put them in. I don't even know how much I like them, but whatever. I'm just telling you how I made it and how I feel about it. Um, and then you'll see this. These little dots. You know that star brush I showed you earlier? Yep, there it is. Used it for little tiny bits of uh, particles in the light. And... Yeah, I don't know what this is. Just tweaking. I guess I just added more shadows. Wanted it to be more of a spotlight type of thing. Thought it added more balance to the picture. And uh, these other layers were probably me just messing around. Yep, overexposed. Uh, a little bit more contrast. I probably ended up using that as the final version. Um, crazy overexposed. Um, insanely dumb. Insanely dumb part two. And a crappy stick figure part three. Has nothing to do with the picture. Anyway, so there it is. So this is just a brux er, <laughs> brush exercise using a soft brush, the leaf brush, these weird dots, scatter dot brush, and this crazy new brush that I that I just found that's supposed to draw rock but ends up being pretty nifty for tree trunks um, even though it's just kind of a weird log just sitting there anyway yeah so I don't mean to, to ramble on too on about it but have fun with your brushes explore them make it fun keep it loose all that stuff so now I'm not lying I'm saying bye bye